Hello, my name is Matias Vega. I am a Peruvian filmmaker and I work with media here in Peru. I studied communication here in the University of Lima and then I completed my studies in, in Stockholm and New York and then I've been working in different fields. I've worked in, in cinema, advertisement, television, a lot of different things. And, um, and since the year 2011, I've been working in intercultural projects here in Peru, um, trying to use storytelling as a tool to approach subjects that sometimes can be difficult to, to approach and problems that lie underneath, like social cultural problems and ethnic problems. The main project we're presenting right now, it's a project called Et Sanantum, Passion in the Amazonia. It's a radio soap opera or an audio po podcast that tells a story, a story that happens in, in, the, in the Peruvian jungle, in the Amazonia, in the, in the territory of the, of the Aguajun. The Aguajun is an ethnic group that lives in the northern part of the Peruvian Amazonia. What's interesting about this project is that, is that on the surface, it's, it's just a, a fun ride. It's an adventure with love stories and treason, and it's very engaging and entertaining. But it's actually a way to talk about a lot of subjects that are very important. It's like what it means to, be, to live in a multicultural nation like Peru, what are territory rights for indigenous people, health, what, what does health mean from a Western perspective and from a native perspective? A lot of different themes. And the reason why it is like that is because Ed Sananto was made together with people from the Wahun communities, people that live in, in, in that, that are born in, in communities in, in the jungle and have a very uh, different way of approaching life and thinking about th things than I, that come from the city, from, from Lima, that is capital city of Peru. Um, Et Sanantu was done in the jungle by a crew that was gathered and trained to make the soap opera. It was a group of people that came from Lima and, and trained a group of people that came from the jungle, Aguajun and One Piece, and One Piece people. Together, we created the story, we recorded this, recorded it, they were the actors, we post-produced it, and in the end it was broadcasted in seven radios there in the, in the Amazonian region. And afterwards it has been aired in Ecuador, Colombia, Bolivia, and in different parts of, of South America. It's interesting because the origin of Etzananto is, let's say, it's, it's in the other side of, of, of what its goals, of its goals. It started in the year 2009 after something that here in Peru we call Baguazo. Uh, this Baguazo was a, an event where there were some clashes between police force and um, people from the, uh, from the Wahun communities and it resulted in more than 20 dead people. And uh, you could make a lot of different analysis about what happened there. But what you cannot miss is that people were unable to communicate. They didn't know each other. They didn't care about what each other thought, where they came from, what, what they understood of anything. So uh, me as a communicator, I understood this uh, as a symptom of, uh, of a deeper problem that we have here in Peru. Peru is a country that has a very, that, that is very diverse. We have more than 52 different languages in our country but Peru hasn't been able to handle it and it has become a problem. And it's very common that these things happen in Peru, that people, uh, they, they don't understand each other and in the end, they, they end up in, in violence. And we, we got some financing and we traveled to the jungle and we were there for six or seven months. We lived there in that time, we gathered this group of people that were interested together. We made uh, some workshops and they were trained in media and together we wrote this story that was supposed to reflect their vision of all these subjects all these problems that we have but also about these key issues what it what it means to be an intercultural nation what it 
what it means to live in a democracy that is still developing, that it's not ready, how to understand this issue about territory and identity. So the idea of using mass media to take these issues and, and, and presenting them to the people was like, let's make people listen to each other and talk about these issues when it's, when it's not a violent time, when it's still time to, to listen to each other and like relate to each other, understand each other, know each other. The project was successful. The story works. The radio soap opera has been broadcasted in, in different countries and in different places and, in, and, and people like it and people use it to reflect on, on, on decisions. We ended up doing the first ever mass media product in Awahun. The Awahun people had never been featured in a, in a mass media product. The Awahun language had never been featured in a mass media product either. Awahun language is a language that, it's a language to be talked, to be listened to, but there, there's no much written language, nor is there recordings or, or stories or books, maybe short stories or maybe short novels, but there had never been a screenplay in Awahun. Because the thing is like, we, we wrote it, we wrote it Nandu as, it was a, uh, as if it was a movie. So we ended up doing the first Awahun screenplay ever and the first radio soap opera ever. And that was also one of the goals of the, pro, of the project, like being able to revitalize culture, not by, not only by reflecting on, on how these populations used to live and where they come from, but also building new cultural products with them take this legacy to the future with a view to the future. That was one, one of the, also one of the important things. We wanted our site not to be turned to the past, but also like to look at the future and, and try to come up with some hopeful way to look at the, at the situation right now and ways to think about how we could probably finally come to a better understanding in a, in a nation as Peru is. So Etsanantu was from the beginning a very strange kind of product. It, it, it's a mixture of things. It, it's, not, it, it's not a wajun, it's not Western, it's a mixture. It's a radio soap opera, but it's written as a movie and it has all, a, a lot of influence of, of bad TV. And it's like, it, it's a very strange mixture. And this strange mixture has led it uh, ha has led it to become a lot of different things. For example, Etsanantu was supposed to be broadcasted four days a week in the radio stations, and the fifth day should be a day where open mics were held, or open mic sessions were held so that people could talk about it. So we transported that idea to make school material. So we're building some school material that brings Ed Sanantu to, to, uh, to schools so that people can listen to it. And then we have a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of questions about the story and the issues of the story. And it's presented as a, as a little comic book so that students can find it appealing and not boring. Now we have just, we, we are right now finishing the script for a film version because we got a fund from the uh, Ministerio de Cultura Ministerio de Cultura of Peru for it to become a, a, a film project. And now it is. We already have the script, we already have a demo, and we have a project, so it, it may become a film. We are also about to start to broadcast, this, to broadcast it through cell phones. We're going to use WhatsApp and other messenger services so that it's an who can come to different cell phones, especially in the Amazonia, so that people can listen to it. And we want not only the, the, the 24 episodes to come to the cell phones, but also these questions and this complementary material so that people not only can listen to the story and like it, but also can take a time to, to think about these the, this issues that we want them to think about. It, be, it became not only a cross-media product, it, it's also becoming a trans-media product, which is a very interesting, interesting thing because the product has been trans and mix the whole time. 
from the beginning. We mixed cultures, we mixed formats, we mixed genres. So it's no surprise that as the project develops, it continues to mix and become different things. And we're very, very glad about that. So um, right now we have a, a new website and we're trying to, to show this to different people, people that can be interested in the many different branches that the project has. With this philosophy that aims at using storytelling as a mean to talk about issues and themes that can be difficult to talk about, we have also different new uh, initiatives. Right now we have a project called The Power of the Hummingbird that is being funded by uh, the Ministry of Culture in Peru. And it's a, a web series about illegal logging in the jungle the high death mortality rate that we have in the Peruvian jungle, and at the same time about interculturality. This is gonna be a web series. It's gonna have 12 episodes. Each episode is gonna be six or seven minutes. And this is, this is gonna be a transmedia project. It's not, it's, it is not only gonna be the web series, we're also gonna have like a blog from the characters. We're gonna have newscasts from the, from the fiction and we're gonna make really transmedia with that. This project is not only is not being made with the Wahoon people, it's being made in another part of the Peruvian jungle, but it's, it is a, a new initiative that takes a lot of the lessons that Etzananto left for us. And uh, it's uh, right now in development. It should have been done by now, but the coronavirus pandemic avoided us to make the shooting. So we're waiting it to, to to calm down and then we hope to, to shoot it in, in by the end of the year in the, in the Peruvian jungle. At the same time, there are also <coughs> other projects that we're working on, but some of the projects don't have only with fiction to do. We, are, we ho have also been involved in projects that have to do with the actual crisis right now about the, the coronavirus pandemic. Um, me and my partner and other people have been doing media products that aim at explaining what the coronavirus is and what it can become to the people of the Amazonia. And to, to do that, we not only need to talk in their language, we also have to try to understand the way of thinking and, and try to explain what it is to them in another way. Because th their whole understanding of what is health and what is a, a sickness is different than the one a Westerner normally has. These projects have not been an initiative that came from us, but we have been working on them collaboratively with uh, organizations that have, uh, that have kickstarted them. And, uh, and we hope that they have had an impact, but at the same time, we are very worried to see how much the coronavirus is actually impacting the, the jungle. para que sean ellos mismos quienes escriban la historia, quienes la produzcan, quienes actúen, quienes hagan la parte técnica. 
Y sabemos que hay mucho talento aquí, ¿no? Muchas historias por contar, mucha gente que quisiera participar de este proceso, así que por favor, los citamos para el día jueves, el día jueves 5 de la tarde en el Colegio Inmaculada. Es un curso intensivo, es abierto, es gratuito. Y de estos talleres es que vamos a seleccionar el equipo de, de trabajo de la radionovela. Tengo 26 años. Mi nombre es Helio Somur Pascual. Vengo de una comunidad napuruca. Me llamo Giovanna Calvoyú. Vengo de la comunidad Chapiza. Juan Carlos Naham de Chapín. Soy de pueblo Abajur. Etnia Guampis. Soy Abajur. Yambe Pujuta, Yapajino, Wajituik, Ajacua, Tucho. Esta camasa pusmita, tu santa amada. Vika, Wing, Apo, Amina, Wing, Tanta, Amina, Auto, Si, Sao, Gesa, Wing, Digas, Wang, Wing, 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 yo soy profesor cesante Simeón Yao Unsui. Qué cosa. Qué cosa. Qué cosa. Qué cosa. ¿Qué está pasando? Ay, voy a Hago muy bien. Te cuesta, güey. Puti. Anel Bien, tuájame. Está en el hospital. Todo sin un chájame. Roberto Mina Pangra Mara, Vincent Antuso Muka, Mon Aido, Ikma Kanda Tinabe. Y pay, Ellos han hecho este esfuerzo para bien de nosotros. Yo les agradezco a todos los trabajadores y me siento muy alegre por haber recibido ese homenaje. Muchas gracias. Espero que eso llegue a toda la comunidad, ¿no? Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Y estoy orgullosa por lo que actúe y por lo que trabajé, ¿no? Mucho hemos aprendido y espero eh, que, sea, que no sea la última vez que nos estamos encontrando y... Siempre no las voy a olvidar, amigos. Eso. Siempre, bravo. Bravo. <risa> Uno, dos, tres. ¡Esa es la uh -huh. Manera de su corazón ganar.